it's really easy to get caught up in the pursuit of perfection, whether that be with work, school, or your creative endeavors, especially more so with creativity. It's very easy to be your own biggest critic. You want to make sure that whatever you're putting out is the best version of it that it can be. And sometimes the imperfections are really what make it. I'm Sean. This is Bajwa Shoots. You might also know me from Bar for Bar, where I focus more on hip hop. But this is where I want to talk about photography. And while tying it into hip hop, the soundtrack for this week is Ian Kelly and Drew Banga, so full of it. Closer than close the way that I'm feeling now. Feeling now. The sky is a ocean, love how I'm swimming now. Swimming now. Everything forming just how I'm So, what I want to go through this week is some of the photos and some of the things that I did and why I'm okay with things not being perfect. So, there are two major times I went outside this week. The first was on Sunday. That was to hang out with some friends at Drake's Barrel House in San Leandro, the local brewery. They have another location in Oakland, as well as in Sacramento, I believe. Uh, they were having their Flocktoberfest event, so they had German-inspired foods, the main reason for us to go. We went out. It was a little late, so we missed a lot of the festivities, but, um, you know, we still got a couple shots off. I was there with my friends, and, uh, you know, what you'll see here is the lighting isn't anything crazy, and that's something that ties back into the perfection. In my head, I've always been the type of person with photography that I want to get the perfect shot right away. If it doesn't look right in, like, in camera, it's not going to look good when I go to edit it or I'm going to have to play around with it a lot more. You know, just kind of ruining my workflow almost. But what I've grown to accept over time is that that's okay. Like, every shot doesn't have to be perfect. You could have poor lighting. You could have no light. But sometimes you can still get a good photo. During this time, I was taking my Fuji X-T30 with a f2 23mm lens. So, not a particularly slow lens, but, you know, when there's no light, there's no light. You can only do so much. But, with that in mind, composition still helps. So, having some sort of composition did allow me to get some decent photos, I feel. Then, the next day, speaking of me and Kelly, we went to his listening party. Or soul full of it over at Inner Desires on Grand. It's a small boutique. Got some clothes. And uh, I guess they do events after hours. We didn't get there until about 8.15, 8.30. And tying back into imperfections, the lighting was awful. I, I, I don't have any better way to put it. A lot of the shots outside were with just street lights and at that time of day the lights are kind of yellow and the only other other real light source we had was from headlights that would just kind of come and go so it wasn't consistent as well as the lighting in inner desires and the lighting in inner desires was purple so one of the most annoying lightings to shoot in it's a it's great to be in it's got a vibe to it, but when you got to shoot in purple light, it's really hard and really annoying. So I unfortunately didn't get as many photos inside as much as, as I wanted to, but that's okay. Because my main, my main purpose of going to that event outside of listening to the album and just kind of being with everybody was to get an interview with Ian Kelly, which I did. And you can check out here, there, I don't know where it is, but album's dope. And we did get a few shots. At this point, I did take the Sony as well. So, a7 III 1.8. .8. So, that definitely helped with the low light. But it's still, you know, it wasn't perfect. And I'm not the type of person who likes to shoot at, like, f1.8 or f2, really. I like to go, like, 2.8 or higher, typically. Because I've missed focus enough that I'm traumatized. There's a few more shots that I took. And I think a lot of the shots that I really personally like were the ones that were outside just because 
they felt more candid they were more chill i unfortunately wasn't able to move around too much inside of inner desires just because it was pretty small and there's a lot of people there so i didn't get the shots that i really wanted to like i really wanted to get on the stairs and get like a um like a shot looking up over or like at ian kelly and drew banga but that didn't get to happen but i did get a few shots of them anyway and then I'm, speaking of lighting and just looking around got a few other shots of my friends the one that i'm particularly proud of <laughs> is the shot of my friends jesse and jaron under this very harsh lighting almost like again this at, at this point it was like 10 30 so there was really no light the only light that was here was the one that i was directly next to and that was essentially like like a motion sensor light so it wasn't anything crazy but that light as well as the piping and the colors of the wall really worked together and now i know i mentioned that the lighting inside inner desires was purple so i had to kind of adjust i did not readjust my white balance when i went back outside at least, at least not right away so when i took that photo everything looked a little more yellow and it kind of added more to it i feel like it gave me a lot of like it almost gave me like um kind of horror vibes because the lighting was so harsh there's very little like you can't really see his face like it's half covered i thought it was pretty cool but yeah there, it's 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 one of those things right like you can go around you can go out with the expectations that you're going to get a bunch of dope shots and sometimes you do sometimes you get some amazing photos sometimes you end up with like hundreds of photos from an event and like half of them are great sometimes you go out and take 100 photos and you like maybe six of them but that's okay that's that's just how it is sometimes and i mean i didn't really have the issue this time where a photo is out of focus but that is something that happens often and i've kind of grown to accept it like i'm i'm embracing the grain I'm embracing the imperfections, just kind of working with what I got, and I feel better for it. When you go out and take photos this week, or next week, or whenever you listen to it, or watch this, just remember, sometimes you don't have to get the perfect shot right away. Sometimes the perfect shot is the one that's messier. It's the one that you wouldn't even really think to go back to right away. Sometimes you just gotta take some time, look at it, play around with it and you'll end up with something that you enjoy but that's all i've got for this week uh no i don't have a photo challenge for y'all other than go out and take some photos uh next week we'll see what i do we'll we'll figure out what <laughs> what theme i have but yeah if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe that way i know to make more content like this because I want to make content like this. This is stuff that I enjoy talking about and stuff I enjoy showing off. Um, and yeah, it'd be totally great to do so. And if this isn't your cup of tea, why don't you check out Bar for Bar? Do a bunch of hip hop stuff there. But uh, with all that said, thanks for watching. I love you all. I'll miss you all. Till next week. Bye.